Good evening. We are gathering this afternoon for Saturday Vespers for the fifth Sunday of Pentecost. So thank you for joining us. And uh, we are looking forward to having Heidi and her family sing the responses for, for Vespers tonight. So glad you are with us and uh, to all who are helping to make this possible. For a cleanse me, sin, and have mercy upon me. For a cleanse me, sin, and have mercy upon me. For a cleanse me, sin, and have mercy upon me. Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Glory to you, our God. Glory to you, O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, the Lord everywhere, and fillest all things, treasury of blessings, and giver of life. Come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King, our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers yourself with light as with a garment. Who has stretched out the heavens like a tent. Who has laid the beams of your chambers on the waters. Who makes the clouds your chariot. Who rides on the wings of the wind. Who makes the winds your messengers. Fire and flame your ministers. You set the earth on its foundation so that it should never be shaken. You covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. The sound of your thunder they took to flight. The mountains rose, the valleys sank down to the place which you appointed for them. You set a bound which they should not pass, that they might not again cover the earth. You, make spring, you made springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow between the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field, the wild asses quench their thirst. By them the birds of the air have their habitation, they sing among the branches. From your lofty abode you water the mountains, the earth is satisfied with the fruit of your work. You cause the grass to grow for the cattle and plants for men to cultivate, that he may bring forth food from the earth and wine to gladden the heart of man, oil to make his face shine and bread to strengthen man's heart. The trees of the Lord are watered abundantly, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. In them the birds build their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high mountains are for the wild goats, the rocks are a refuge for the badgers. You have made the moon to mark the seasons, the sun knows it's time for setting. You make darkness and it is night when all the beasts of the forest creep forth. The young lions roar for their prey, seeking their food from God. When the sun rises, they get them away and lie down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works, in wisdom have you made them all. The earth is full of your creatures, yonder is the sea great and wide, which teems with things innumerable, living things both small and great. There go the ships and leviathan which you formed to sport in it. These all look to you to give them their food in due season. When you give to them, they gather it up. When you open your hand, they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are dismayed. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. When you send forth your spirit, they are created, and you renew the face of the ground. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works, who looks on the earth and it trembles, who touches the mountains and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. Let sinners be consumed from the earth, and let the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. 
Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the Holy Church, the God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our holy house and for those desiring to enter with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our most blessed Metropolitan Teacon, Lord, companions of the Diocese of New England, for the honorable priests of the Diocese in Christ, for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the President of our country, for all civil authorities and for our forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For in this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For seasonable weather, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Traveled by land, by sea, and by air, for the sake and the suffering for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord have mercy. Come and pray to our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. For to you are to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the wicked. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the wicked will perish. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Serve the Lord with and rejoice in him with trembling. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God.
again, peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorate with our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady, there with all the Lord, and Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. To you, Lord. For us are the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. In the fourth tone, Lord, I call upon you, hear me. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, hear me, O oh Lord. Lord, I call upon you, hear me, receive the voice of my prayer when I call upon you. Hear me, O oh Lord. Let my prayer arise in your sight as incense. And let the lifting up of my hands be an evening sacrifice. Hear me, O Lord. Set a guard over my mouth, O Lord. Keep watch over the door of my lips. Incline up my heart to any evil, to busy myself with wicked deeds in company with men who work iniquity, and let me not partake of their delights. Let a good man strike, rebuke me in kindness, but let the oil of the wicked never anoint my head. For my prayer is continually against their wicked deeds. When they are given over to those who shall condemn them, then shall they learn that the word of the Lord is true. As a rock which one cleaves and shatters on the land, so shall their bones be strewn at the mouth of hell. But my eyes are toward you, O Lord God, and you I seek refuge, leave me not defenseless. Keep me from the trap which they have laid for me and from the snares of evildoers. Let the wicked together fall into their own nets while I escape. I cry with my voice to the Lord. With my voice I make supplication to the Lord. I pour out my complaint before him. I tell my travel before him. When my spirit departs from me, you know my way. In the path where I walk, they have hidden a trap for me. I look to the right and watch, but there is none who takes notice of me. No refuge remains to me. No man cares for my soul. I cry to you, O Lord, I say, you are my refuge, my portion, the land of the living. Give heed to my cry, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors, for they are too strong for me. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may give thanks to your name. We glorify your resurrection on the third day, O Christ God, by always honoring your life, creating cross. By it you have renewed the corrupted nature of man, O Almighty One. By it you have renewed our entrance to heaven, for you are good and the love of man. The righteous will surround me, for you will deal bountifully with me. You loose the tree's verdict of disobedience, our Savior, by being voluntarily nailed to the tree of the cross, by descending to hell, O Almighty God, you broke the bonds of death. Therefore we adore your resurrection from the dead, singing in joy. Glory to you, O powerful Lord. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Yes, smash the gates of hell, O Lord, and by your death you demolish the kingdom of death. You delivered the race of men from corruption, granting the world life in corruption and great mercy. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. Come, all people, let us sing of the Savior's resurrection on the third day. By it we have been freed from the unbreakable bonds of hell. By it we have received life and incorruption. Save us by your resurrection, life creating and almighty Savior, glory to you. 
If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you. You suffered a multitude of tortures, together obtaining your holy crowns of Procos and Hilary. Therefore, we worthily celebrate your memory, praying fervently that you intercede for us. For your name's sake, I have waited for you, O Lord. My soul has waited for your word. My soul has hoped on the Lord. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, your body was torn asunder, but you obtained eternal glory, O blessed one. Know that you are in the eternal light of paradise. Pray that we who sing to you may also see this light. From the morning watch until night, from the morning watch, let Israel hope on the Lord. Like to the fountains of light, O holy passion bearers, Proclus and Hilary, dispel the darkening of passions as we sing to you with joy, celebrating your memory. For with the Lord there is mercy and with his plenteous redemption, and he will deliver Israel from all his iniquities. Oh, from your youth you embrace the angelic life, regarding the alluring things of the world as refuse, and you surrender from the illusory shadow of temporal glory to the divine glory that does not fade in which you now share. Having shaken off the bonds of the flesh, standing before the triply radiant light, and enjoying Christ's dazzling radiance, pray to him that he bestow upon the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. Praise the Lord, all nations, praise him, all peoples. Amen. 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 Father, brightness of heartfelt contrition, a light to those in the darkness of despair, never set in morning storm, most precious ember of repentance, divine pearl of virtue, great beacon of compassion, patron of all orphans and widows, lamp of virtuous abstinence. Pray to Christ that you upon the church oneness of mind, peace, and great mercy. <clears throat> for his mercy is abundant towards us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Oh, venerable Father Michael, you were consecrated to God from before your birth, as was Jeremiah, the holy prophet of old. For the mother of the Lord foretold to your mother that you would be given to her and would bring forth fruit. Spiritually accepting your course, you avoided the turmoil of this world and led a life of contemplation, O divinely wise one, planting a multitude of monastics as numerous as the sands of the sea by the wellspring of the waters of the Spirit of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Venerable Father Michael, the report of your good deeds went out into all the earth. Through them you found the heavens as a reward for your labors. You destroyed the regiments of demons and attained to the race of the angels, whose life you blamelessly emulated, having boldness towards Christ God earnestly as peace for our souls.
now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The prophet David was a father of the Lord through a virgin. He foretold in songs the one who worked wonders in you. At your right hand stood the queen, your mother, the needy matrix of life. Since God was freely born of her without a father, he wanted to renew his fallen image made corrupt in passion. So he took the lost sheep upon his shoulder and brought it to his father, joining it to the heavenly power. Christ, who has great and rich mercy, has saved the world of the Holocaust. The gladsome light of the holy glory of the immortal Father, heavenly, holy, blessed Jesus Christ, Having come to the setting of the sun and beheld the light of evening, we praise the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, God, at all times you are worthy, you are worthy of praise in songs. The Son of God, giver of life. Therefore, the world glorifies you. Let us attend peace be unto all. Wisdom, evening, prokeman on us in the sixth stone. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Mm -hmm. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is robed, he is girded with strength. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. For he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. His throne is established from of old. He is from everlasting. The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. The floods have lifted up. O Lord, the floods have lifted up their voice. The floods have lifted up their roaring. The Lord is king. He is robed in Mightier than the thunder of many waters, mightier than the waves of the sea, the Lord on high is mighty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are very sure, holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. The Lord is king, he is robed in the Lord is King. He is robed in majesty. Let us say with all our soul and with all our mind, let us say, Lord have mercy. O Lord Almighty, the God of our fathers, we pray you hear us and have mercy. Have mercy. Have mercy on us, O God, according to your great goodness. We pray you hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for our most blessed metropolitan deacon, on all companions of the Diocese of New England, for priests, deacons, and all other clergy, and for all our brethren. In Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for the blessed and ever memorable holy Orthodox patriarchs, for the blessed and ever memorable founders of our holy house, for all of our parents and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, 
especially Marcus, Canadian, Peggy, Nina, Oleg, Yelena, John, and Greg, and you hear when in all the world by us sleep in the Lord. Our family pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, all the brethren of our community, those that we hold in our hearts and in our minds, for those who are sick and suffering, especially for our former Metropolitan Theodosius, the priest James, Montishkin, Natalia, Anastasia, Macrina, the servants of God, Robert, Victoria, Charles, Anastasia, John, Sonia, Roseanne, Elaine, Catherine, Delia, Maria, Corey, Damien, Joseph, Kira, Louise, Lucy, David, Anna, Christopher, Carol, Dorothy, Anne Marie, Nancy, Stephanie, Marilee, Juliet, Maria, and Victor, Oleg, Bettina, Nicholas, Delphina, for those suffering from the coronavirus, Stephen, Carol, Anne, Ron, Megan, Kevin, Arcadia, Natalie, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. How can we pray that the Lord our God, in his mercy and providential care for us, will call forth for our diocese of New England, our true shepherd of wisdom and strength, blessing us with an arch pastor to care for the well-being of our diocese, and to unite his faithful people in a zealous confession of the Orthodox faith, in loving service to one another and a bright witness to the glory of his holy name. We beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Our family pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in our holy and all venerable house, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present to await your great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. God Almighty, Lord of heaven and earth and of all creation, visible and invisible, in your ineffable goodness, look down upon us, your people gathered in your holy name. Be our helper and defender in this day of affliction. You know our weakness. You hear our cry in repentance and contrition of heart. O Lord, who loves mankind, deliver us from the present threat of the coronavirus. Send your angel to watch over and protect us. Grant health and recovery to those suffering from this virus. Guide the hands of physicians, nurses, all of our caregivers, the chaplains ministering to them, our military reserves supporting them. We pray for those developing vaccines and treatments and preserve those who are healthy. Enable us to continue to serve our suffering brothers and sisters in peace, that together we may glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Save all night to keep us this night without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify these your name forever. Amen. Let your mercy be upon us, O Lord, even as we have set our hope on you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Master, make me to understand your commandments. Blessed are you, O Holy One, enlighten me with your precepts. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not despise the works of your hands. To you belongs worship, to you belongs praise. To you belongs glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us complete our evening prayer to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Thou who save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole evening may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. In the peace of faithful God, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant it, O Lord. Our 
remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. For a life painless, blameless, and peaceful, and for a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our Lord. Lord. For you are good God who loves mankind, and to you we send the glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Peace be unto all, and to your spirit, let us bow our heads unto the Lord. O Lord. Lord, our God, who bowed the heavens and came down for the salvation of mankind, look upon your servants and upon your inheritance. For to you, the awesome judge, who yet loves mankind, had your servants bowed their heads and submissively inclined their necks. Awaiting that help from them, but asking your mercy and looking confidently for your salvation. Guard them at all times, both during this present evening and in the approaching night, from every foe, from all adverse powers of the devil, from vain thoughts and from evil fantasies. For blessed and glorified is the majesty of your kingdom of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. By ascending the cross, O oh Lord, you have another ancestral curse. By descending to hell, you have freed the eternal prisoners, granting incorruption to the human race. Therefore, in songs we glorify your life, creating and saving resurrection. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. By hanging upon the tree, O only powerful Lord, you shook all of creation. By being laid in the tomb, you have raised those who dwelt in the tombs, granting life and incorruption to the human race. Therefore, in songs we glorify your rising on the third day. For he, says he has established the world so that it shall never be moved. The lawless people of Christ handed you over to Pilate, condemned to be crucified, thus proving themselves ungrateful before their benefactor. But voluntarily you endured their evil, rising by your own power on the third day as God, granting us life everlasting and great mercy. Holiness befits your house, O Lord, forevermore. With tears the women reached your tomb, searching for you but not finding you. They wept with wailing and lamented. Woe to us, our Savior, King of all. How were you stolen? What place can hold your life-bearing body? An angel replied to them, Do not weep, but go and proclaim that the Lord is risen, granting us joy as the only compassionate one. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. We honor you, O Michael, our Father. As the instructor of a multitude of monks, we have indeed learned to walk rightly in your footsteps. Blessed are you for having labored for Christ. You denounced the power of the enemy. You were a converser with the angels and a companion of the venerable and righteous. Together with the ventry, the Lord, that he grant mercy to our souls. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. 
Oh, unwedded virgin, who ineffably conceived God in the flesh, O oh, Mother of God Most High, accept the cries of your servant, so blameless one, grant cleansing of transgressions to all, receive our prayers and pray to save our souls. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people, a light to lighten the Gentiles, and the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions, Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of each Amen. When the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyous message of your resurrection, they cast away the strokers and elatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The image of God was truly preserved in you, O Father. For you took up the cross and followed Christ. By so doing, you taught us to disregard the flesh, for it passes away. But to care instead for the soul, since it is immortal. Therefore, your spirit, O Holy Father, Michael, rejoices with the angels. Now and ever, and unto ages. Of ages. Amen. For our sake you were born of the Virgin, and endured crucifixion, O good one, destroying death by death, revealing the resurrection as God, do not despise the work of your hand. Reveal your love for man, O merciful one, and accept the Theotokos praying for us, and save the despairing people, O our Savior. Wisdom. Father bless. Christ our God, the existing, is blessed always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Preserve, O God, the holy Orthodox faith and Orthodox Christians, unto ages of ages. O holy Theotokos, save us. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without defilement, you gave birth to God the Word. Truth, Theotokos, we magnify you. 
glory to you, O Christ, our God, and our sure hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Father, bless. May he who rose from the dead, Christ our true God, to the prayers of his most pure mother, of the martyrs, Proclus and Hilary of Aunt Siren, and the venerable Michael of Molinus, who we commemorate today, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anakin, of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Again, we thank Heidi and her family for singing the responses for Vespers tonight. It is a challenge to keep track of where you are in the service when we're not all together in one place. But you did a fantastic job. And just a brief comment. Yesterday in Daily Vespers on Friday, we referenced how the tone of the week begins on Saturday night, as we did this evening with tone four. We're singing the dogmatic at the end of Lord I Call. And tone four will carry through this coming week uh, as compared to Friday uh, in the afternoon, as we get all the way through the week, we sing again the dogmatic for the tone of the week to close out that tone. So we sang yesterday the dogmatic for tone three. Today we sing the dogmatic for tone four. So tone four will be our uh, tone for the Octoicus for the coming week. So we hope that you will join us for our Obednesis service tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. And for our Holy Transfiguration faithful, I will have our virtual coffee hour following around 10 o'clock. God bless and be with you in this coming night, and we look forward to gathering in the morning.